But I want to ask you the question. Did we? Did we? Did we? Shame. We just got rid of shame, man. We just got rid of shame. And we never should have did. We never should have got rid of shame, right? We never should have got rid of shame. Shame is still needed. You know, um, tell you this story. Um, I knew this gentleman from Japan. And he told me that things are much different in Japan than they are here in America. He says, shame is very much present. You work hard. You work extremely hard because you don't want to let your family down. You don't want to shame your family. In fact, most people, they don't really fire you in Japan. You just quit because it's too shameful to keep working. What do I mean by that? It's too shameful to keep working. They don't fire you. So a gentleman made him a, a big mistake, big mistake. Maybe I think he probably, he might've lost a big, a big deal, like a big company deal. The company was so mad at him that he wrecked this deal. This deal was a lot of money. That they cleared out a janitor's closet space and put a desk in there. And he had no window. And he had a, you know, the thing to turn the light on. And when he arrived at work, they put him in that office and said, sit here for eight hours. Eight hours a day, seven days a week. Sit in this office. We're going to pay you the exact same salary that you're paying. But this is your job now. You're now going to be a desk job. Now, maybe in America, some people might be like, man, you mean all I got to do is show up at work and sit in this room for eight hours and I get paid the exact same money that I was paid if I was closing big deals? It sounds like something you'd be interested in, right? But see, over there, there's something called shame. Over there is something called the shame of your family. Can you imagine telling people that you blew a deal and they put you in the janitor's closet and that's your new job to sit there for the rest of your life and not and, and not add or take away from the company, but you just sit there and you show up? So the shame of that, call that person to quit. You see, shame is needed, y'all. We can't get rid of shame, man. You know, unfortunately in America, we're not allowed to point out, you know, we're not allowed to tell people that they're, that they're, that they're messing up. We're not allowed to spank people's kids. Kids get out of line. The village doesn't raise them anymore. The government protects them. You can't go around. They used to be, you know, you know, back in the 50s and the 60s, they used to be able to still spank kids if they messed up in school. The teacher was allowed to take a ruler or take a paddle and spank your child. And that was that was considered socially correct. That was that was socially normal back then. That was part of the deal. But now that they can't do that and you don't do that because don't hit my kid. My kid's special. Every kid's special now. No kid is, 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 all kids are special. All kids are smart. Right? That's why we have the bell curve, right? Right? The bell curve is there so all kids can be smart. So the bell curve is there so the smartest kid and the dumbest kid and they take the average and that dumb kid based on however smart the, the smartest kid is 
gets to get gets to be a little bit smarter. Right? Even though he got 56%, he might get 68%. And 68% might be a, you know, is might be a B now. Let's just say that 68% becomes a B now instead of a C because of the bell curves. 83% becomes an A now instead of a B because of the bell curve. Why? Because we don't like shame. We don't like our kids to feel the pain that they messed up and they need to do better. That's what's wrong with our society. That's what's wrong with these lovely ladies. Nobody can shame them. Nobody can say shame on you for coming outside the house dressed like that. Whereas in the 50s and 60s, if you came out looking like half these women look today, oh, they, oh, the, the town, the, the whole town be talking about. I mean, by gosh, these women walk around with the Muppet eyelashes, right? Excessive makeup, looking like a hoe. If I might add, holes are the one that wore the makeup, see? Holes wore the makeup, see? They got all dolled up with the red lipstick, and then you know why red is so popular? Because it's exotic. It speaks sexual sexuality. So here we are. Here we are. The problems with shamelessness. Look at our shameless culture today. Reality TV. Social media. Narcissists grab their 15 seconds of fame on YouTube. Social media grants a platform, you know, a pla- and y'all know a platform I'm talking about, grants a platform to racism and conspiracy theorists and trolls. Without shame, misinformation and fake news is spread like wildflower. Why? Because there's no shame. Anybody can lie. There's no common decency. Civility and ethics disappear from public discourse. Lawyers help the rich dodge dodge accountability. Pop singers like Lizzo proudly models her naked backside from rope body positivity. Politicians spew lies without blinking. Apps. 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 Promote bullying to kids. Why? 